Hey guys, we're going to keep going on warehouse management. Today we're going to talk about movements inside a directed uh, put away warehouse where we have bins, zones and everything. So we're in the north warehouse basically. Um, and the north warehouse is set up with full bins, uh, put away required, uh, directed put away required. And so when you want to move something from like a bin to bin, so let's say you have here the storage one and storage two, and you want to take, take something here and move it to here, you have to actually use the movement worksheet to do that. Uh, and so you go into the worksheet and the worksheet, you can actually pull stuff into the worksheet or you can just basically list out what you want to do. And then from the worksheet, you, initiate a movement activity that the employee or the warehouse employee has to take care of and then they go into the activity and they register that so let's take a quick look at that how we move between bins okay so now we're going to move some inventory between bins yeah we have to have to be able to do that so we can go into a movement worksheet and this is of course with directed putaways and picks um, that we create this movement worksheet. So what I want to do is take the coffee mug and I'm going to move it from a storage zone uh, from a particular bin. So I'm going to pick storage two. Let's say we're going to move everything into storage three. So I'll go here, storage two, uh, storage zone two, storage three. Um, it was, let me just see, we can take a look at the bin contents. So I want to take everything out of the story two, which is 260. Uh, so I'll put that in here, 260. Um, and actually it says quantity available to move is 110. And it's kind of telling me that I can only move 110. That's probably because there is a sales order asking for um, the 150 so the only available to actually move is 110 so we can just take a look at here the uh, bin contents list um, actually there's um, another one that shows how much is available to move um, let's see if we can get into that one um, in contents, um, there we go. And so here you can see that for storage two, we have 260 in here, but there's 150 on a pick right here. So we can only move 110 because otherwise we'd be taking away uh, for the picker and, and removing it. So this is really great. It's a good example of where available to take is playing a big part in this. So even though we wanted to take 260, we can't really because 150 have been dedicated. So let's go ahead and then just change this into 110. Um, and go ahead and create the movement so and we can assign it to a user I'm just gonna leave it empty now a movement activity is created um, and then we can get out of this get into movement activity um, let's see warehouse movement right here oops not that um, right here now this one is now created and we'll just get into that and here we see that it's take 110 from storage 2 to storage 3 place it into storage 3 uh, and now I just want to go ahead and register this movement post it and now if I go into my bin contents which is a, always a good way to see how much you have um, we have that this is now gone 